Frankie Catafias with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, good morning, Idaho, and happy Monday. Right before the break, we showed you a live view at our Canyon camera over in the Magic Valley, and you saw that little thing that we call snow. And we've been looking at the satellite radar, and we know it's happening, but it's another thing to completely see it with your two eyes on a camera it actually falling from the sky, but that's what we've been seeing over the last couple of hours. Heavy rain continues to move eastward and we see again the snow falling in places of the Magic Valley and even our east central mountains. That's been the activity for at least three or four hours now. Now we've also been seeing some strong wind gusts. Here's a look at that 24 hour maximum wind gust. We saw about 31 mile per hour winds in Mountain Home. That was also the same in Boise. I know the reading isn't popping up, but that's what we were also seeing throughout the evening. You probably heard it if you went to bed late last night. You can hear that patio furniture scooching around in your backyard. We saw the those conditions carried over down towards Twin Falls, even towards Pocatello. You see a nice little pocket right here, that purple indicating upwards to about 45, 50 mile per hour winds. Now the current conditions are a little bit more calm. We're seeing that we have a current temperature right now, 41 degrees, but because of that northwest wind moving at about 16 miles per hour, it's feeling just a little bit colder. And by a little bit, I mean 33 degrees. That's what it feels like right now, and we're seeing wind chill is going to continue to be a factor. As long as we have just a little bit of wind, those temperatures are now getting cold enough to make that a thing. So. As we also look at towards that wet weather that we're experiencing, here is a look at the low pressure system that's bringing us a lot of this rain and snow, particularly particularly to places of eastern Idaho. Now think of this line as carrying some rain and as it starts to head to towards those colder, colder temperatures, my gosh, you'll notice that that's going to start to turn to snow. So there's just a look at that future clouds and precipitation. We're really seeing again. It's almost like a fine divide between no weather and weather cloud coverage really favoring parts of the east continuing to move in that northeastern direction. But as we start to approach our Wednesday, we'll have a break on Tuesday. Wednesday is when we're going to see a system coming off the coast of the Pacific Northwest moving in an eastward direction. So we're going to get another little bout possibly of some rain down here in the Treasure Valley, but some of those higher elevations are looking to experience that thing we call snow once again. Treasure Valley high temperatures for your Monday. We are in that 50 degree zone throughout most of the upper and lower parts. However, wind again is going to make it feel a lot cooler, mostly cloudy cloudy conditions. As we head up towards our west central mountains, cloudy conditions are going to be prominent. We are going to see that there is a variance in temperatures, really anywhere from 40 to 50 degree weather. Heading into our east central mountains, we're going to see a complete change in scenery. We're going to see the snow falling from the sky. That's going to be a morning occurrence and could carry throughout most of the day. High temperature in Stanley, 35 degrees, 42 if you're in Fairfield. Unlikely we'll see snow falling at 42 degrees, but again, some of the cooler temperatures we'll experience throughout the day will support that. In the Magic Valley, we're looking at morning snow. Wind is going to be a factor, so it's going to get a little nasty out there. It's going to feel a lot cooler than it is. And then, of course, you add snow, and that just adds a whole other layer of complications. Now, looking at that seven-day extended forecast, everything you need to know. We talk about Monday being windy and cool. We have a break for us coming on Tuesday. We'll see some cloud coverage rolling in on Wednesday, again, as a result of that system coming off the Pacific Northwest. But then as quickly as it comes in, it's gone. And we look to see a change in the tides, working for the better, balancing itself out Thursday. And then going into this weekend, we are seeing favorable conditions. Sunshine will be prominent throughout most of the weekend, but we will see those temperatures warming back up to about 60 degrees.